subscribe to our channel for latest video series on GAIN, UGC, NET and more. Also press the bell icon so that you never miss an update on any latest video. For more information you can visit our website or call on the numbers below. Right, so now we look at our next topic which is transform circuit right so now we uh, what we going to see is see when you would have studied network theory you must have seen that when you performing when you solving equations for a circuit you need to calculate tough integral differential equations right perform integration differentiation in time domain because you have circuit elements like capacitor inductance right and uh, current or voltage through these circuit elements is not for, uh, following linear rules right they we have to calculate tough integral or differential equations now what we are saying is if you just transform all the circuit elements all the source element everything to s domain then the equation relating the circuit is going to become a simple linear equation and which is going to be very easy to solve so what we are saying is it is going to transform all the circuit elements all the elements that we are using in this electronics to s domain right so we start with signal sources signal sources which are voltage sources or current sources so what are we saying transformation of voltage sources from time domain to s domain is going to be simple similarly for current source right if you look at transformation of resistance since resistance is a linear element that is it is following this simple linear equation then in uh, s domain also this is going to be vs is equal to r i s now if you look at inductance if you look at inductance l now see voltage across an inductance is given by l dit by dt now we have a term of differentiation right and if you try to transform it in why are we transforming it in s domain is actually we do not want to calculate this dit by dt d integration of uh, current we do not want to calculate all this that is why we are transforming all of them in uh, this s domain so that our uh, operations become linear and easy to perform okay so if you just transform this if you try to transform in this in s domain so we are considering a uh, unilateral laplace right now because we are considering initially relaxed system okay we are considering systems do not have any uh, have have started functioning only from the time of observation from t is equal to zero so uh, in this differentiation in time what are your, what is going to happen multiplication with s along with initial value okay this i of 0 minus means if any current if any charge has been stored by this inductor then this this has this will be taken care by this this term okay any stored charge if you just try to find out equation in uh, it this is going to be 1 by sl v of s plus 1 by s i of 0 minus okay just rearranging the terms i've just rearranged the terms in this equation only okay this is the same fine now we look at the last element which is a capacitance now current across a capacitance is given by c dvt by dt if you just transform this in s domain you're going to have is is going to be equal to s into c vs minus c of v 0 minus now this term this term takes care of any stored voltage any stored charges by this capacitance okay and in other model if i try to represent voltage then this is going to be the equation right so to make this a little bit easier we are going to see how circuit elements can be represented in s domain okay so uh, on this side this side i am taking circuit element name of the circuit element and here i take the representation of the circuit element okay using just using the equations that we have just derived where you going to see these representation okay we are going to see the representation in time domain and how it is going to modify in the s domain 
fine so if you just start with the voltage source voltage source in time domain this is how we are representing a voltage source plus terminal minus terminal and we saw that in S domain also it is going to have the Laplace of this right everything else is going to remain the same similarly for the current source so this is how you are representing a current source in a time domain and if you just transform it in Laplace also going to remain the same right for resistance we saw that resistance is a linear element represented like this suppose this is your R this is going to be a voltage across this resistance this is suppose your current entering the resistance then in S domain also this does not uh, have a lot of difference this is going to be V of S, this is going to be your current in Laplace domain and R is going to be the same, okay, nothing is going to change. Now if you just look at inductance, inductance, right, then in time domain this is how it is represented, this is my L, this is suppose voltage across the inductance and this is the current entering the inductance. Then we have seen that there can be two equations representing this in S domain. We are going to draw both of them one by one. If we try to find out voltage across the inductance, then what did we say? Voltage was equal to SL into I. See, uh, just look at this equation once. See, this was the voltage, voltage equation. SL into IS. See, this SL represents the inductance element. IS is the current. Now, this term that you see, since this is a voltage equation, that means that this term is some voltage element, stored voltage element. Okay, so we are going to represent this as a voltage element only. That is why this representation. Okay, so this is the total voltage. Since voltage always adds up in series, that is why we place the elements in series, okay? This is the current entering. This element is going to be represented by SL. Since there was a minus sign before, that is why we place this element like this. And value for this voltage source is going to be aligned to 0 minus. See, this I0 minus is actually going to be a some finite value. This represents stored charge for this inductor, right? So, that is why we are representing this as a voltage element. If you look at the second equation relating this uh, inductance in equation in I, then you see that this is going to be 1 by SL into Vs plus this something like this. Now you know that currents add up in parallel, right? Currents are going to add up in parallel. That is why we are going to replace these elements in parallel when we are considering the current equation. And since that that uh, constant term is also going to be a current element why? Because that is a current equation. So this is the total current IS. This is going to be my element SL. And this, this element is going to have the value as I0 minus by S. And this is going to be the VS, complete uh, voltage across this element. Right, so this is how we are transforming inductance into S domain. Okay, when it is in terms of voltage, it is going to look like this. In terms of current, it is going to look like this. Now, if you look at capacitance. Capacitance. In uh, time domain, this is how a capacitance looks like. Right, if you just transform it in uh, S domain, what is going to happen? If you look at the current equation, you are going to place the elements in parallel. This is going to be 1 by SC. And since there was a minus sign, which means that direction of the current is going to be opposite. With value C of V0 minus. This represents the voltage across this element. Okay, if you just try to write its voltage equation, this is how it's going to be. This is going to be the voltage across this. This is going to be the current entering. Capacitance can be represented by 1 by SC. And this is going to be a voltage element with value V0 minus by S. 
right so this is how we are transforming different elements of uh, this electronic circuits to s domain right now this transformation in s domain is going to ease up okay ease up a lot in sol while solving the equations when you solve the equations the equations are just transforming going to transform to simple linear equations earlier you had to solve typical integral differential equations now that is not going to happen right now we look at some of the examples of uh, applications of this transformation 